Do we have to tell scary stories? Yes. Yes. This is the perfect guy for it. Even though your face is right through between the walls. But... <laughs> is it is it into the face now? Is it through a wall? Yes, it is. Uh, what about now? Oh. Okay. Oh my God, that is a nice hair salon you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right. You start first with a scary story. I don't know. I don't have any scary stories. Or I just start with something. Um. Um. D start the end there. Your turn. All right. Oh my God! What the hell? There once was a man. His name was Paul. <laughs> oh my God. Paul lived. For a very short time. Oh, and nice thunder. Nice key of the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. And it's even raining. It was a stormy night, just like this. Oh, light went out. <laughs> it was a stormy night, just like this. He okay. was going to go buy some food. But trouble spurts stirred up during the night. As he was walking to the car, he felt a strange sensation on his on his back. As he slowly turned around, he saw a dark figure in the corner. He walked towards the black figure. It got even blur, blurry. What's what I think? Are you reading this on a website? No. Okay. No, 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 no. As he got closer, he said, "Who's there?" The strange figure peeked out and said, "Uh." It says I'm thirsty. Your story's making me thirsty. <laughs> it says... It said... I can see into the night. I can see into your dreams. Is it Batman? No, Batman would have been like... <laughs> he he, he would have had a breathing problem. <laughs> <laughs> this suit's on too tight. Alright, continue. The next morning, there was a police report saying that a man was killed. I mean, I don't know how he died, I just said this in the next morning. Yeah, for me. The family was worried about what happened to him. You know, I'm just realizing that you can literally see, like, the, the spine connecting to the head <laughs> that you're holding. Oh my god. And he goes, I mean... And the family goes, well, the policeman told the family that he was mauled to death. By? I, I don't know, a fucking cat? A cat? <laughs> I guess. Mauled by a cat, the ghost was a cat. Oh, just listen. Okay. They took his head and cremated it. And made that noise. And, um, when they, uh, okay, one day, help me out. I don't know, man. Like, what do you mean, help me? This is your story. I don't know. I just think of something. I'm um, trying to make a story right now. <laughs> think of something. Uh, as they, well, as a family, mm -hmm. was. Getting ready for the cremated head, mm -hmm. they opened the box, and inside was a head, but it was not cremated, so it was still his head. His eyes gouged out, and it had a writing on the back of his neck. It said, No place. 
It, it said what? It said no please. No please. No please. No please. And this is the head. Where's the no please? Oh. <laughs> it's inside the eyes. Ha! Huh. Did you just. Oh, I thought you threw the head. Ow! Oh, you fucking idiot! No please. No fuck you. Oh shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! 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 Come on, come on!